Good morning. So today um, is Monday. Tomorrow I wanted to get some time off and there was a bit of a complication. So I'm going to be bribing one of my coworkers. Yeah. So if you're going to be bribing somebody, you gotta look somewhat presentable. Brush teeth, do hair, etc. So I'm going to do that and get changed and then we'll move on to the next step. Step two of any good bribe is determining what you're going to use to bribe. Now, a lot of people like determining what they use to bribe on the person that they're trying to bribe. I feel like this is silly. I should bribe them with what I want to bribe them. I feel like making pancakes this morning, so I'm going to be bribing using pancakes. Specifically, these are um, easy Alaskan pancakes, uh, a recipe made by yours truly. So, for making the pancakes, as you can see, we have here a pan and a bowl. We're going to be mixing some stuff in the bowl and uh, frying some stuff in the pan, specifically pancakes in the pan. Um, so, we're going to start by adding some flour to the bowl. Don't ask me how much flour, the answer is some. Next, you're going to add just a little bit of baking powder. And um, with this, you want to be really careful because you want it to be significantly less baking powder than you have flour. So about, oh you can't see that. Still can't see that. There you go, no, you can kind of see that. So uh, there's a little bit of that there, baking powder. Man, my lighting here is just abysmal. Hold on, let me fix that. And there we are, better lighting. So you want to have about that much baking powder to your flour ratio and um, then you're going to want to add just a tad of salt because um, you don't want too much salt so like I just sprinkle a little bit on there then you want to mix this and uh, you can probably mix it just by uh, swirling it around a little bit the goal here is just to make it so that the baking powder and the salt don't clump on contact with any sort of our liquid ingredients so then we add some sort of sweetener now you can use uh, sugar I personally actually really like some applesauce as my sweetener along with some molasses and the reason why I like it is because it just got such a great flavour. So we have here grandma's molasses. This is not a sponsored video for grandma's molasses but it's just the ones that happened to be on the shelf when I went to grab molasses. So about, about a, a reasonable amount. Oh crap! reasonable amount of molasses and um, that's probably way too much molasses so these are probably going to taste very molasses-y we'll have to test them and see if they're any good and we might throw them out but the molasses are good after adding sweetener I like to add some sort of oil like this just makes it so that stuff doesn't stick to the pan as much it's easier to make the batter all work together and all of that good stuff then we're going to add the secret ingredient, which in this case is some plain unsweetened yogurt. And we're going to add a couple good dollops of that. And then we add one egg. Just like so. And then we're going to mix this all together at high speed. So for the liquid, you can use either water, milk, or if you want it really tasty, some heavy cream. Although that can be a bit overkill. I just went ahead and mixed that in so that um, you wouldn't have to suffer through me putting a little bit here and a little bit there. So we're going to move that over here and uh, go ahead and turn our stove on to high. You can't see that, but it's on high and rub a little butter on the pan. Now, the butter works a lot better being rubbed on the pan if you don't have paper in the way. So I'm gonna peel that back just a little bit. And then rub some more.
Now, you don't need a lot of butter, just enough to make it so that your first couple don't stick. Once the pan is hot, which can be determined by either placing a hand above it and waiting until your hand starts to catch on fire, or alternatively, you can take a little tiny bit of water and just like flick it on there. And once the water disappears, it's probably hot. Our pan is now sufficiently hot, so we're gonna go ahead and turn it down to just above medium. And we are going to pour a pancake. And then we just wait for that to start bubbling. All right, so it started to bubble a bit and the bubbles are starting to pop just a little bit, which means it's probably about ready to make the attempt to flip. So, oh crap, that's that's a soft pancake. Uh, let's let's make a mess, shall we? One flipped pancake. Now the darkness on top here is pretty normal if you've got milk products in your pancakes because milk burns a lot easier than do uh, more uh, non-milky products like water. Um, water doesn't burn very easily, in case anybody's surprised by that. Um, but also for the first one, the um, oil tends to burn on there and that adds a little bit more to that whole browning effect. But um, once you flip it over, you cook it for about the amount of time it takes to explain what you're doing when you're flipping it over. And then you take a plate and you set the plate on a different burner and you take your pancake and you flip it down. Well, don't flip it, slide it gently onto the plate. And then you make another pancake. Rinse and repeat. And so there you have some Alaskan pancakes. They're a little dark, again, I said because of the milk. And this right here is actually some mango sauce that I made up for um, going with the Alaskan pancakes because, uh, you know, Alaskans love tropics. So we're gonna go ahead and use that as part of the bribe too. And we're just gonna taste this really quick. Mmm. So good. Just making sure it's not poisoned or anything. Mm. We do now, however, need a way to transport these pancakes to go bribe somebody with them. So we're going to come. And we got here a uh, buttery rounds box. And, um, you know, they are buttery and uh, round, so this seems an appropriate box. We're going to give this the same treatment that we gave that cornflakes box back in the other video. And there we have it. We just fold that down, fold the tabs over, just like so. And nobody would know that there's pancakes being smuggled around for a bribe with some mango sauce. So here I am waiting outside her door. We'll see how this goes. Well, so she wasn't there. Uh, her roommate was there, so I left the pancakes and mango sauce with her roommate. But I did text her, let her know that they were there, and she agreed to cover for me tomorrow. So that is fantastic. I just want to say thank you all for watching, and uh, if you liked anything, let me know. If you didn't like anything, let me know. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.